Hey guys, what's good? Mike here, Laker Talk. Back from vacation, feeling um, fully rested. Got my Hawaiian tan going on. Uh, ready to get back into vlogging on a regular basis about the Lakers and see where we go from here. Now, let's recap where we are. We got six more games remaining. Um, and let's talk about the changes that need to be made in order to get us back into not looking or appearing so dysfunctional as we have been over the last week or so. Um, we lose to the Celtics last night. I got in late LAX last night. Saw the replay. Um, Kobe had a good scoring game. Took a lot of shots. Julius Randle had a good game. Clarkson. D'Angelo Russell, not so much in sh shooting wise. Had a lot of rebounds. Good as six assists. Um, Lakers lose. We got six more games remaining. People are sad that Kobe Bryant's you know, coming down to an end. I I'm ready. I'm ready to kind of move on and see where we go from here. Now, where do we go from here? Okay, we got the Nick Young thing lingering. That's kind of fading away in terms of it being a really big story. But the effects, in my opinion, is still there for D'Angelo. And what I mean by that is by him doing this bonehead move or this, this thing coming out, it really showed his immaturity and showed that he wasn't ready or he is not ready to be handed the torch of our franchise to be the leader of our team. That right now goes to Julius Randle. Okay, he's a guy that's very well spoken off the court or in interviews. He's, he's a bright kid. He's a bright young guy off the court. He doesn't get into trouble. Um, and he, he's, he's a baller, right? 17 and 10, he's a double-double guy, automatic. And he's our, he's our guy, I think, that we're gonna hand the torch to that's gonna be the leader of our team. Now, D'Angelo, is the one with the most superstar potential but what needs to happen is we need to make a lot of changes to surround him or to, to get our to clear out our locker room and to surround him around people that's not going to you know disrupt anything and it's going to allow him to focus on playing basketball so what needs to happen a lot of people are saying hey the front office needs to go listen we, should, we don't even have to start talking about the front office because Jerry West, or not Jerry West, Je Jeannie Buss, Jim Buss, they're not going anywhere. The Buss family isn't going anywhere. They are going to hold on to this Laker franchise from generation to generation to generation. Okay, so let's not even worry about the Busses. What will happen is they will kind of take a step back and let Mitch Kupchak run the team, okay, because they are clueless from a basketball standpoint. Mitch Kupchak is the brightest guy that we have. And um, in my opinion, Mitch Kupchak is one of the brightest basketball minds in the entire NBA. I don't think we could get rid of him and bring in somebody that's brighter um, other than Jerry West. And I don't think that's happening. So I think when we see Kobe leaves, that's going to allow Mitch to really be Mitch. Mitch is a bright basketball mind. He's shown that over the last 10 to 12 years. Um, and he's he, he's a he's a bright basketball mind. He doesn't make any bonehead moves. He he doesn't make any you know haste decisions or stupid comments in the media. He's very like sits back and kind of like observes things. And he makes he makes really good calls from Clarkson to D'Angelo um, to Andrew Bynum to um, you know the Pau Gasol trade. Um, stuff like that so I like Mitch Kupchak right he is our guy going forward but over the last 10 to 12 years Kobe Bryant has really been the x-factor uh, after Shaq left the our front office kind of like made moves around Kobe Bryant but now that Kobe Bryant's gone we really need Mitch Kupchak to kind of take a step up and to really run the team and so what needs to happen is we need to clear out our coaching system if there was any if there was any chance of, of Brian Scott kind of remaining as head coach, I think that's out the window. Now with this D'Angelo and Nick Young thing, even though it wasn't Byron Scott's fault, we need to just we just need to clean house because we need a fresh start at this point. So we need to get Byron Scott out of there, get a new coaching um, team in there, and we need to trade a few players. We need to trade Nick Young, we need to trade Lou Williams, and we need to trade possibly Jordan Clarkson. And I'll tell you why. Obviously, Nick Young for obvious reasons, right? But I don't know what value we're going to get for him. He's at $5 million a year. He's shooting 32% from three. Um, he plays no defense. 
I mean, goodness gracious, we just need to cut him and just take the loss from a luxury tax standpoint. Um, Lou Williams is better at $7 million a year. He can still score at 20 points. He can, he can put up 20 points a game for some teams. And so we can get a lot from him. But if Nick Young and Lou Williams are, as it appeared in one of the stories, like Lou Williams was kind of got up from D'Angelo and, and not talking to him, that means he, that, that's, that mess is still lingering. So anybody who is related to that, we need to clear out. And D'Angelo and Jordan Clarkson, in my opinion, were really immature. Like from the All-Star game and prior to that, like in post-game interviews and stuff like that, they just seemed very immature. And I think, you know, when you have kids that keep messing up, you need to just kind of like separate them just from a principal standpoint. So I think that puts Jordan Clarkson on the trading block, in my opinion. As good as he is, I think we need to remove him from hanging out with D'Angelo Russell because right now, for D'Angelo Russell to repair any type of credibility for in the media, in the world, from a Lakers standpoint, he needs to focus on basketball. He shouldn't be hanging out with Jordan Clarkson. He shouldn't be hanging out with anybody right now other than his, his close-knit friends and just play basketball over the next year or so. Um, that's my opinion. So Jordan Clarkson needs to go or gets put on the trading block. Lou Williams needs to go. Nick Young needs to go. We got to keep, we should keep, and don't think about trading um, Julius Randle at all. Um, and we keep Nick, we keep uh, D'Angelo Russell, and we surround him with a good new coach, new system, new players, some new free agents come in, and we start from there. But we kind of get out, we got to break up all the all this stuff. All these guys who were hanging out, Nick Young, Jordan Clarkson, Lou Williams, D'Angelo, we got just got to break that up. And obviously, um, we're going to keep D'Angelo and, um, and, and Randall. That's my opinion. So I think in the offseason, look for those guys, one of those guys to, to, to get traded and, um, you know, get some fresh blood in here, get a fresh system in here, get a new coach and no more clicks. Get all that high school stuff out the window and let's just focus on playing basketball. That's my thoughts. Hit me up in the comments below and let me know your thoughts. Thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing on my YouTube video. And uh, as always, follow me on Twitter at MikeSportsLay. More videos to come, guys. Peace.